Hey, young Tekken player there. Are you still out here struggling with your multi-throws? Are you still punching in your commands like a caveman? Well, dumbass, quit doing multi-throws like a boomer today with this tech. Rule number one, hit a practice mode. Rule number two, always hit a practice mode. Then pick the character that you're trying to do the multi-throws with. But for demonstration purposes, we'll be using King in this video and maybe a couple of his friends to show you how it's done. We'll start it off with King's notorious Rolling Death Cradle. The first initial throw will be done with the Crouch Dash 1 plus 4, aka the Arm Breaker. From here, we want to transition into the second part of the multi, which will be done with a 2, then a 1, then a 1 plus 2 plus 3 for the Chicken Wing Face Lock. Now this is where you can use button buffering to have it come out consistently. Now here's the trick for this part. Press the 2, then hold it, then press 1, then hold it. While holding the 1 plus 2 from earlier, now simply press 3. I personally drum in this input 2-3 to three times during the first throw just for the sake of consistency. Quick tip, this button buffering technique can be applied to everything in Tekken. Find applications for yourself to make your combos and inputs more consistent. If you'd like for me to make a video in the future on this topic, drop it on. Oh yeah. There's a, there's a what? Drop, wait, wait. There's drop a what? it on. In the comments below. Now on to the juicy part. The rolling death cradle. AKA the RDC. Done with this input here. Now throughout the years, I've heard of two common ways of inputting the RDC. Some try to input each command manually, pressing 1 plus 3, 3 plus 4, 2 plus 4, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 3. Or I've heard others use the button buffer trick for this one in an overly difficult way, starting with 1 plus 3, hold the 3, then 3 plus 4, let go of the 3, now start holding 4, then 2 plus 4, and so on. Please just stop. <laughs> now let's truly unlock the full potential of button buffering. After the chicken wing face lock, there are two routes that King can go into from here. The one break being the dragon sleeper finish, and the two break being the rolling death break. Okay, so here's the secret. I don't know if you guys know this, but since the older Tekken, they made it easier to get the multi throws out simply by mashing key charge. That's just all four main buttons together. Damn, he straight up taught you guys how to master this figure. That's sick. Hey, look, we, you can try to learn the actual commands, but if you want to play our game at a top level, just mash you scrubs. You don't need to know. You see? You see that? Even the producers of the game are telling you, bro, just mash. This method will always lead to the least damaging option whenever it is implemented for multi throws. <laughs> So, for example, after the chicken wing face lock, mashing key charge will lead to the dragon sleeper finish. Even though it has this crazy input, essentially the game registers all of those inputs from the key charge match. First input for the RDC is going to be 1 plus 3, and we don't even need to know any more than that. Using our combined knowledge from earlier, we can cheat the route by simply inputting the 1 plus 3 first, then key charge. Now isn't that neat? Now you can do this even more consistently if you bind a key charge to one of your shoulder buttons, preferably your L and R buttons. Or even for you pad players out there, you have the R3 aka the right stick. Some players even map all the shoulder buttons as a two button combination, so essentially RDC could be even easier with the 1 plus 3 bind. Now let's say you misinputted the 1 plus 3 because you don't use a bind for it. The game will still give you something because of the key charge. This method not only makes doing multi throws easier, it's also a fail safe. Though keep in mind if your opponent broke an earlier part of the multi throw and you're still mashing key charge, you can get an accidental key charge and die, so learn the timing on when to input the key charge and don't just go bananas on them but it's really that simple simple inputs simple rdc simple life all right so with this tip see how you can apply it to your character it essentially doesn't even have to be for multi throws only 
one quick example is Lucky Chloe's down forward two and its follow-ups, you can simply get the rest of it to come out by just mashing key charge. You don't have to time it, you don't even have to have rhythm, just mash key charge. And ta-da! Easy, so easy. Hope this video helped you guys out. I made this video because whenever I saw anybody going for a multi-throw and they messed it up and it wasn't even for Oki or any of that, it's, it's always a heartbreaker. Now that you guys have the tech, go out there and rip them up. If you like the video, please do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know if there's any particular topics you'd like for me to go over in the future. And I may just make a video on it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Until next time. Bye.